Hello, in this tutorial I show you how to create a session and then how another player can join a random session. For this tutorial you'll need the advanced session plugin and Steam subsystem. If you don't have that, check out this tutorial, link is in the description. And now let's start. So first I would say we're creating a new main menu level from where we can press a button to create a session and then press a button to find and join a session. So first here in the contest folder I'm creating a new folder, I call it maps. And in this maps folder I'm creating a new empty level and call it main menu. So we can open this, then we need here on the right the word settings, if you can't see them go here to window and then enable the world settings here. Then I'm creating here, before we, before I'm creating this here, I'm going back to the content folder and create a new folder called blueprints. And in this blueprints folder, I'm creating a new, another folder and call it main menu. So here I'm creating now the new game mode and selecting this main menu folder here and call it BP main menu JM. Then we can also create here a new HUD class. Also doing that the same way, selecting main menu and calling it BP underscore main menu HUD. And then also new player controller also here in the main menu folder, bp underscore main menu pc. So let's start here with the pc. Here on when we can play, you want to show the mouse cursor true and set input mode to UI only and select here self as play controller. So we are able to, to interact with the widget then. Um, we can compile and save this again and close this main menu PC. Now let's create here a new user interface widget blueprint. Let's choose here user interface and call it WB underscore main menu. Before we're doing stuff in here, I'm going back to the main menu HUD we created. And going here to the event graph, deleting this, and on event we can play on a create widget. And in here, we can select now the main menu widget. And we can add this to viewport. So, compile and save. We can close this main menu hut. And now we can open the widget. And in here, I will add a new canvas panel. I will also add in the canvas panel a new border. And make it here. Build a screen. So that's our background here. I'm adding a bit of color here. And in this vertical bar, in this in this bar here, I'm adding a new vertical box, and I will center this vertical box. And I'm adding uh, a button here, and on the button a text. I call this uh, text here create session, and I will also copying this create session. So we can directly go to the, to, to the button here and paste it here. So we can find it better than in the blueprint. Then I'm duplicating this button here. And the second button, I will change the text to auto find session. And again, I'm copying this text, going to the, to the button and change the name here. Then for this button, I will add a bit of padding to the top. 
like so. And yeah, now you have two, two buttons. Uh, first, we would start with creating a new session. So I'm clicking on this create new session button here, scrolling down, and then we have here the unclicked event that will get click, uh, triggered once the player, the user, clicks on this button. So we could now create here the advanced session, uh, but there's one problem. It won't work because when we're creating a new session inside here, then we're also opening a new level. And if we are opening a new level, then all classes here gets destroyed, the hard class and stuff, and also this main menu class. And that would also mean that our session gets destroyed or gets unvalid. So there's a solution where you can create a session in the game instance. And the game instance is persistent in all levels. So if we are opening a new level, the game instance stays there and can the, the session will stay valid and that's what we want. So uh, now we're creating a new game instance. So I'm going back here to the blueprints folder and then right click and click here on blueprints class. Then search here for game instance. And here we have the default uh, classical game instance but there's also another game instance in France, France game instance. And this is basically the same as game instance, but it has some more features for inviting friends. Um, so it only has advantages to take this one. So I would say, or oh, I re recommend to, to choosing this advanced friend game instance. Uh, select this one and call it BP our Our game instance. Um, so, our game instance. And now, here to enable this game instance, really important, you need to go to Edit and Project Settings. And in here, search for Game Instance. And then, here on the Game Instance class, we need to select the game instance we just created. Make sure you're not selecting the default one, select here BP Hour Game Instance or the one you created. So now we can close this project settings again and opening the game instance. And here we want to create a new custom event and call it create session. And this should trigger the note create advanced session. As player controller, we can choose here, get player controller. And then on success, on the open level, I will choose here open level by object reference. And yeah, before we're doing this, I will say some words to this create advanced session note here. Here a bunch of settings, but I won't. I, I will. I will leave them on default for now here for this tutorial. Um, and I will create another tutorial where I add some more details about uh, about uh, settings of a session, naming it, and adding slots amount and stuff. I will create a new tutorial about that. But for this tutorial, it should be enough to to leave it here on default. Um, yeah, now let's go here to our level that we want to open. So for that, I'm going here to maps and create here a new level. No, I, I don't want to create here a new level. It was wrong. I'm creating here a new level here on the file, new level. And then we get some nice templates here. So I'm choosing basic and creating this basic level here. Then we can save this. To the maps folder and i would call it gameplay map maybe so and in here uh, we also want to change here the game mode i will just change it here for now for the to the third person game mode that comes with the third person template but you can also create a new one here um then we need to change the play controller 
So I'm going here to Blueprints and adding a new folder and call it uh, Gameplay. And now we can create here a new Play Controller class and I call this BP underscore game PC and I will save this here. And in this player controller here, an event graph, an event we can play on our set show mouse cursor to false and set input mode to game only. So that would get here a reference to self again and we can compile and save and close this game pc and back in our game instance here where we're opening the level want to choose here the gameplay map and because we're creating here a listen server so server with host and clients um we're gonna add here the options we need to type here listen exactly this otherwise it won't be possible for other players to join a session so can compile and save could also or can go now to the main menu widget again and here on event construct wanna wanna cast to our game instance BP our game instance as object we wanna get game instance here like so and wanna add this store this here in the new variable and call it game instance ref then we can grab this game instance ref here when we're pressing on the create session button and trigger there the create session event okay so the next step is joining a session so i'm choosing here the the second button here and once a player clicks on that button wanna execute the node find advanced session or find session advanced and Grabbing here as play controller, get play controller. We can leave max results on zero. So that means it will, there will be no, uh, no limitation, it will be infinity. Um, we can also use, leave use LAN on, on, on false. If we are, if we are creating the session and joining session like here in editor, Steam will be an a disabled anyways and will be possible to, to join the session there. Um, for the server type, I'm choosing client service only. And now here for the results, we can get the results here. We can actually choosing the always the, the first result that it finds. So it will, if it finds a session, it will join the first session or we could also grab here a random session and to do that we could grab here results getting the length the length minus one and then take here a random integer and range can connect this with max so from this array, from all results here, it would then choose a random random index between the element zero and the last element. So it will join a random session. From this here, we can trigger join session and connect it with on success. And here, the player controller, we are getting the, getting the player controller. And then here on success, 
no, we don't need to do anything here, but we could do some print strings. So we need what happens or if it if it fails to work. So on fail here, I'll add a new print string and call it failed to join session and or yeah failed failed to actually we copy this over here to on fail the same one and here on fail fail to fail to find session maybe and then here on success we could add joining 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 session so let's uh, let's test test this here. Mm, saving everything, going back to the main menu map, and then we can make sure you have two players here selected so we can test it. You can also leave it as standalone; it doesn't matter. In this this here, you can create here a new or playing, playing the game to test it. And left, I will create a session. There we are, should be in the session. And now here, pressing on auto find, it will load a bit. So you could add here a loading screen that, that we can't press these buttons anymore. Now you see we are in the session. Both players can see each other, it works. As I said already, I will create I will make another tutorial where, where where I show a bit more for server settings, setting name and maybe small server browser and then a lobby here in the game. For now, really basic, like creating a session and joining a random session. That was the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and subscribe if it helped you and see you in the next one.